Tesla lied. They lied, they lied, they lied. They lied in a good way, but they most certainly lied about the power of the Tesla Model S Plaid. And I should add, the Tesla Model X Plaid as well. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne in Australia. Welcome to the channel, you new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. Great to have you here on the channel. So, Tesla definitely lied, and they lied a lot more than you realize if you read a recent EV, Inside EV's article about the Tesla Model S being tested on a dyno. Now, for those of you who are not aware, Brooks from Drag Times, he actually tried to test the Tesla Model S Plaid that he owns on a dyno to find out what the power was. Now, Tesla officially said it has 1,020 horsepower. That's about just over 750 kilowatt for you Aussies and for everyone else who lives in the real world and measures things with a metric scheme. No, sorry. I mean, to be honest, it's just what we like here. But anyway, the point is here that it didn't work. They tried to dyno test it, and for whatever reason, they, they just couldn't actually work out what the power was. The dyno meter didn't, couldn't handle the torque or something like that. I couldn't really work out what the issue was. But anyway, it's been tested again. And this time, they tested it at the hubs. Now, the difference here is, well, first, okay, first I'll tell you what the results was, and then I'll tell you why these results are not what you think they are. Now, now, Uptown Autosport said the following. We heard that Tesla's Model S Plaid has 1,020 peak horsepower, and we wanted to test if this claim was actually true. With the help of our mainline Pro Hub Dyno, we got to the bottom of it. Now, according to their video, the peak power output registered at the wheel hubs was 1,101 horsepower, so 81 more horsepower than Tesla claimed, while the peak torque was 905 pound feet, which is 1,227 newton meters, which is just ballistic. Now, a second image shows that at a 91% state of charge, the total power was 1,067 horsepower and 1,191 newton meters of torque. So the power goes down a little bit when the state of charge decreases, but not a lot, not enough to really be noticeable from the actual tests that I've seen of the car being driven on a drag strip. Now, one thing that everyone seems to have missed, I don't know why this is, but being a motorhead myself, reading all the motor magazines since I was a little kid, this is how it works. If you're in the US and Australia, sorry, it's the same. In Europe, it's the same. Car manufacturers actually measure power where? Well, gross horsepower is a measurement of engine output, but it's taken at the flywheel. So, when the power gets to the wheels, it's always significantly less. So you probably heard people say, my Nissan Skyline does this much power at the wheels. And you go, oh, well, that's a lot. That's okay. But that someone else might say, oh, my car has stock, 400 horsepower. And that measurement will be at the actual flywheel. Now, by the time that 400 horsepower gets to the wheels, it's often reduced by 10 to 15%. So actually, Tesla's figure of 1,020 horsepower technically, assuming they go by what everyone else does, it's actually wrong by a significant margin, a lot more than it sounds, because this measurement here on this dyno meter was taken at the wheels, not actually at the flywheel. So realistically, in the real world, rather than Tesla's vehicle having a 1,020 horsepower output at the flywheel, it probably has closer to 1,300 horsepower at the flywheel. Now, obviously, the Model S and X are equipped with three electric motors, one in the front for the front axle and two in the rear, which are for the independent rear wheels. Now, all three motors are permanent magnet, synchronous reluctance motor, PMSRM, with a carbon slave rotor described as the first of its kind in a series production vehicle. Now, right now, Munro, Sandy Munro and Associates are tearing down a Tesla Model S Plaid, which will give us more information about the powertrain that actually enables the Model S Plaid to accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour, per hour in about two seconds flat, which is absolutely insane for a car of this size. The Tesla Model S is actually a pretty big car. So technically, according to this test, the Tesla Model S Plaid has 80 horsepower more 
than Tesla claim. But in the real world, if we're comparing this vehicle to other cars, it actually has more like around 250 to 300 horsepower more than Tesla claim. And realistically, that is comparing it against all of the competition. As you know, what I just said before is true. The competition tests their vehicle's power at the flywheel and not at the wheels. Now, the range of the Tesla Model S Plaid is actually pretty impressive considering the amount of power this thing has. With 19-inch wheels, the Model S Plaid has a range of 396 miles or 637 kilometers. And its battery pack is actually smaller than it used to be. It has roughly a 95 kilowatt hour usable pack using Tesla's 1865 type cylindrical cells. So they're very small cells. Tesla's new 4680 battery cells will be much bigger. And I believe it's very good chance that in 2023, Tesla will actually change the Model S Plaid and probably the Model X Plaid as well to be using 4680 battery cells, which should give this vehicle a much longer range with higher energy density batteries, potentially enable the Model S and the Model X Plaid to go even faster. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Model S Plaid did one, has a quarter mile record speed of about 9.2 seconds and a 155 mile per hour trap, trap speed. But with Tesla's performance package, it can actually do around about 170 miles per hour. Now, in addition to that, Tesla currently hold the record for the fastest production electric car to go around the Nürburgring. It did it in seven minutes and 35 seconds, but unofficially, another time did it in seven minutes and 30 seconds. A Tesla have said that when equipped with the right tire and wheel package, it will be capable eventually of doing 200 miles per hour, and that's 322 kilometers an hour in an electric sedan. That is pretty exciting. And especially considering the fact that this thing actually weighs in at 2,162 kilos or 4,766 pounds. I mean, realistically, who on earth would have thought 10 years ago that we would have a car, a family sedan, weighing 2,162 kilos, capable of doing the quarter mile in 8.2 seconds and zero to 62 miles an hour in only two seconds flat. That, my friends, is insane. And that is, without a doubt, laying the smack down to the gas vehicle industry. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put a link in the description below to some other videos I've made about the Tesla Model S Plaid. It's in particular, about the one of the videos you may have missed because I made this video early on of the Tesla Model S Plaid overtaking supercars at Laguna Seca. It was insane. Thanks for watching the channel. I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.